In 1982, Ridley Scott's tech noir classic Blade Runner was met with skeptical audiences and empty theaters, thanks in part to a series of slapdash changes made after low test screening scores panicked the studio. But now alternative versions of the movie, more in line with the director's original vision, are widely available to curious viewers. As a result, the film's popularity has risen steadily over the years, along with a lot of burning questions. Are you for real? No, seriously, is he? Blade Runner depicts a near future in which androids, known as replicants, are so advanced that they're virtually indistinguishable from the real thing. And most of the debate surrounding the film centers on whether its hero, Rick Deckard, played by Harrison Ford, is a human or a replicant. Let's try to make some sense of it all. The Origami Unicorn So, is replicant hunter Rick Deckard actually an android? This scene suggests the answer is a definite yes. After dreaming of a unicorn earlier in the film, Deckard finds and fondles this origami version, which must have been made by Eduardo Gaff, the veteran LAPD Blade Runner and origami maker who orders Deckard around. But Deckard isn't exactly the type to open up to his co-workers about his nighttime fantasies, which means the only way Gaff could possibly know Deckard dreams about unicorns is that he somehow read Deckard's memory file. And if there's one thing we learn throughout this movie, it's that… Gaff is creepy. Who delivers Deckard's LAPD summons at a dirty noodle bar? Gaff. Who creeps up behind Deckard as soon as he retires the first of his assigned targets? Gaff. Who shows up immediately after Nexus 6 replicant Roy Batty empties the contents of his soul in the pouring rain? Gaff. And who knows all about Deckard's secret unicorn dreams? Come on, don't make us say it again. It's pretty clear that LAPD veteran Gaff is monitoring Deckard. But why would this so-called one-man slaughterhouse need a leash? Maybe because he's a replicant. Only like the film's femme fatale, Rachel, he doesn't know it. Who's the man? Eduardo Gaff also drops one major hint that our Blade Runner hero might not be a human after all, after he's completed his mission in a surprising, climactic moment. You've done a man's job, sir! This is one of the most dissected, debated lines in the film's history, and for good reason. If you want to praise a guy for a job well done, it's kind of a weird choice of words, right? That is, unless the man in question isn't a man at all, but a robot. In which case, it's a heck of a compliment, and a good way to tip off your audience as to Deckard's true nature, in case they hadn't figured it out yet. The Director's Take at this point, the evidence seems to be piling up that Deckard is, indeed, a replicant, and we haven't even mentioned how he survives through multiple battles that would probably leave an ordinary person in several pieces, or the split second where his eyes seem to flash with the otherworldly glow that's unique to the film's replicant characters. But since nobody knows the truth better than the man who made the movie, it probably makes the most sense to just ask him. Ridley Scott has already said that when it comes to the Deckard question, if you don't get it, you're a moron. But in an interview with Wired, he went into detail for all of us morons, saying, That's the whole point of Gaff. The guy who makes origami and leaves little matchstick figures around? He doesn't like Deckard, and we don't really know why. If you take for granted for a moment that, let's say, Deckard is a Nexus 7, he probably has an unknown lifespan and therefore is starting to get awfully human. But wait, there's more. So Rick Deckard is a replicant, has always been a replicant, and will always be a replicant, right? Well, not so fast. The dissenting opinion on that front is none other than Harrison Ford, who says he and Ridley Scott were always at odds over Deckard's true nature. So I resisted the idea of being a replicant. Ford felt that Blade Runner's audience should have a human character to connect with, and in the original theatrical cut of the film, which was missing some of the key scenes that brought Deckard's humanity into question, Ford's interpretation makes more sense. But when the director says Deckard is a replicant, and the guy who plays Deckard says he's not, it's hard to know who to believe. Until you remember that Deckard is ostensibly a robot who only thinks he's a person, which means that Ford's insistence otherwise could just be a genius bit of method acting. The more he shares his character's delusions, the realer the film. Right? Right? The question is the answer. Pretty much everyone involved in Blade Runner has an opinion on the is he or isn't he debate about Rick Deckard, but author Philip K. Dick, who wrote the book the movie was based on, should get the last word. And according to Dick, the ambiguity surrounding Deckard's humanity, and more broadly surrounding whether there's any real difference between humans and replicants, is kind of the whole point. It's a replicant who saves Deckard's life and delivers the film's most poignant lines before dying with grace and dignity. When the replicants show more empathy than the men who created them, which one of them is more human? What do the insights of a robot tell us about the meaning of existence. They're just questions, Leon. In other words, Blade Runner is designed to make you think bigger about the nature of life itself, whether you're human or something more. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.